I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. I wanted to carry out a mission. From age 14 to 19, I was involved in two different organizations. I won't name which ones. First was a suicide bomb mission at an Israeli checkpoint. I had everything ready. Went there. And I could hear the Adan, the call to prayer. I told the commander I want to pray. He said, forget about that idiot. Go ahead. I went closer, but the prayer continued. And I was thinking, how soon? I won't hear it. And I started thinking about dad and mom and my siblings. The commander told me to fucking stop thinking. And I walked close and the soldiers reacted fast. They shouted something in Hebrew, then Arabic to stop. I continued and they started shooting. And I ran. After some time, I took off belt and all that, and ran until I couldn't run anymore. I got to some abandoned houses, went in, and, ad and admit I started to cry. The commander's people found me somehow. They were angry. They called me a huge failure and shame, and I apologized. They told me stop thinking. The second one, I won't give too much details, but because I failed to launch the rocket Far enough, I was put in jail in Gaza. After that, I did another job because they said I wasn't dependable. I was seeking for a reason to live, a goal for life. You know, a purpose might be a good word. What I felt missing was the connection to religion. Sure, they used the terms, but Islam wasn't the real strength behind them. And if I questioned, I got punished. But I felt deserved it all, because it was my destiny in life, to destroy the enemies at any cause. For me, dying wasn't a big deal at age 15 to 16. I felt, why not? It is for a good cause. Anyway, I tried twice. Both were failed missions and ended up with me being in jail. I'd rather not to talk about that. What surprised me was that people in Gaza were unwilling to fight. No one was in the mood for fighting. You had to put a weapon to their head to even get them to say what you wanted or do what you wanted. I took people up on rooftops to scare Israeli army away because they couldn't kill kids, right? But then there was proof of that they indeed killed children. And I was told Israelis expressed happiness for killing children. What stopped me were the failures. And that I didn't like to get away from Allah. Felt like I was too far away. I wanted to get back. So I dropped out and moved away. What got me thinking was the times I went to borders. And the soldiers lifted their weapons. But before they did that, they were just like regular people, sitting around talking. Then, as, as I got closer, they stood up and got weapons ready. I decided a few times to try to talk to them. Since at that time, there was no settlers, settlers left, and when they lived here, I had no contact with them at all. I wanted to get a dialogue, but it didn't work. One time, I got too close and got warning shots after me.